Ethan in shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Ethan rolls to his right, being pressured, and completes yeah! it at the five-yard line and into the end zone very easily goes Jackson Henderson. Touchdown, Patriots. Hello and welcome to the Hillcrest Football Review. Coach Mitchell, uh, 6-0, and hard to believe. We're already six weeks going on the seventh week of the regular season. Where's the time gone? Uh, you blink and it's gone, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's crazy how quick things have gone and, you know, how quick things are still unfolding for us week by week. But uh, uh, like I said a couple of times, we couldn't ask to be in a better position and uh, write a better script for us. I mean, this is a, it's an amazing ride. Right, and uh, it was a ride to Gadsden, two yep. hours, kind of helping your team get ready for those uh, playoff trips that you might have to make later on in the season. We'll take a look at the first quarter of action from the Gadsden City game coming up in just a minute. Keep it here. Hey Patriot Nation, Brent Jones here to tell you that Globetti's Lawn Care is ready to serve the Hillcrest area. I can tell you from personal experience that the experts at Globetti's know lawns. Their work for me really made my house and yard go from jungle to beautiful. Globetti's is family owned and operated and very supportive of the Tuscaloosa community. Customer satisfaction and relationships are important and customers often become extended family. So for dependable and knowledgeable lawn maintenance, landscaping, bed design, install, custom plannings, and full-scale bed, shrub, leaf cleanups, call Globetti's Lawn Care. All right, Coach, here we go. Yep. Kickoff in Gadsden. You know, what a beautiful stadium they've got. Mm -hmm. uh, great facility there. You know, uh, I think Gadsden City is a, a beautiful, beautiful layout for uh, the way a school should look. I mean, just first class all the way around facilities and, you know, uh, Defensively, I thought we started a little bit slow, not bad. You know, uh, they, they did some things that we hadn't seen, which is kind of starting to be the norm for us. And, you know, we, we see some things that we don't see, uh, you know. But, uh, you know, I, I did think that, you know, after the first couple of series that our defense really kind of settled in and played really well. But um, get a punt early on and, you know, I, I'd never dreamed. This is a good defensive football team. I mean, really good defensive football team. And, Never dreamed we'd score in two plays, but you know Ethan with a great, great throw there to Jackson. And the tight end involved, like in yep. that, more yeah, elements well, to the offense. Yeah, for sure. You know he's he's uh, we we've thrown it at him several times, just hadn't hit him yet. And then you know finally in this game he makes some big, big plays here for us. And you know Ethan just on a replay with a, a belly jeep uh, option look and. You know, two plays, we're in the end zone. I ne like I say, never dreamed that. This is a high-caliber defense and it had been all year long. And, uh, you know, we, we probably played our best game uh, all phases of the game uh, against Gadsden. And, of course, that's a good sign. You'd love to see that happening. And, you know, uh, defensively, again, right here, just does a great job of uh, defending all parts of the RPO. And uh, then Tyree with another big, big interception. He's had a couple back-to-back -back, um, mm -hmm. the last two weeks and playing really well. And, you know, um, Ethan with a throw here. I thought he was in bounds, but uh, the stripes didn't see it that way. Mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, we continue to do a great job up front. Uh, those five guys and, and Jackson just continue to – to open some massive holes for us. And, you know, I, I don't look for that to change. I mean, they, we've got some high quality players up there and uh, they're doing exactly what they need to do for them. And great play here by the Kirkpatrick kid. And you see why he's going to be a highly recruited player. You right. Know? Um, Jamarcus Prince with another really big night. And oh, Jay what a Johnson tough run right here by Jay. It, man. And that was a Kirkpatrick kid that, that hit him right there at about the two. And, Jay just runs right through him, you know, just uh, that is exactly what we want to see and the effort to extend the ball to the goal line. And, you know, what a what a great run for us. You know, we overcame a holding penalty there, you know. I think it was uh, first and 20 from, mm -hmm. from a, our first and goal from the 20. So, um, you know, again, our kicking game, uh, it's we hold our breath every time we have to kick off. But, you know, they, they've, we've been better there, and I, we, we're going to continue to grow and continue to improve. Um, but, uh, again, defense goes out, and, uh, you know, they, they turn the ball over back to us in a hurry. And, you know, that's the thing with us on defense. Great throw right here, I thought. Uh, 
probably the best throw of the night. Mm -hmm. and I'm not unhappy at all with Tyree there. Does a great job of, you know, defending and uh, they use the, 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 the really good player they've got on yeah. offense. Give him a touch and he was definitely know. their biggest weapon on both sides of the ball, wasn't yep. he? Uh, and like I say, he's going to be a highly recruited kid, just a junior. So we'll have to deal with him for another year. And uh, you know, he's he's a good one for sure. Uh, their kicking game is probably the best we've seen. You know, oh really, yeah, really good kicker and punter. Um, and you know that's a, just a sign of a good football team. Uh, couple of inside run plays here we didn't get a whole lot out of and this is actually the first play of the game that we started with that we repeated and Ethan hits a running back this time instead of the tight end for a first down and a uh, big third down conversion there for us and we'll get a holding right here on Sean Franklin and you know he just got to do a little bit better job with his head placement and his hips um, you know we just uh, Seems like we find our share of the yellow flags, that's mm -hmm. for sure, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, we, that's something that we certainly work on, try to improve. Uh, but again, uh, just not taking care of the football right here. Ethan gets stripped from behind. And, you know, I thought our defense did a phenomenal job right here. Put them in a tough spot. And they they uh, end up holding this thing to a field goal, Ooh. get a little lucky break <laughs> there, and kid drops it. But, yeah. uh, Anytime you give somebody the ball inside your own 20 and defense is able to hold them to a field goal, you know, that's a win. Uh, you're blinking an eye there away from that being a 14-14 game. Yeah, and, and you jumped out to the big 14 yep. nothing lead and then just, like you said, in the blink of an eye, they're right back in it. Exactly. Uh, really good uh, return here by Shamar. And, uh, we get a, a personal foul for blocking a little bit too aggressively. So uh, that's starting to learn. That's... Uh, not a good situation for us, but uh, a little speed option here. Jay uh, with another carry, and then Ethan on his own read play. Uh, he reads it as as well as you could ask. Uh, very similar to the play that we scored a touchdown on, and you know, um, again he he's going to get it both ways. You know, it's one of those deals where if you choose to pressure him, he's uh, he's really going to hurt you with his legs. Mm -hmm. and if you give him time, you know, he's. Uh, He's going to light you up with his arm as well. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it, 14-10 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. What started out as a game looked like you were going to kind of run away with it. Suddenly, at the end of one, uh, it's a football game. Very much so, you know, and we expected it to be. I thought they were really good defensively, and, you know, I think I thought uh, offensively we couldn't have played much better early on, And uh, but a uh, very tight game at this point. Yeah. All right, we'll take a look at the second quarter right after this. When the Patriot Nation gets hungry for Chinese food, there is no doubt about where to go. Lee Palace in Inglewood Village. Lee Palace has been in the same location for 20 years and loves the Hillcrest community. You just can't beat their incomparably delicious Chinese cuisine in a family-owned, friendly environment that is second to none. The folks at Lee Palace love what they do and are very passionate about providing you with the best in town. Lee Palace says, Go Pats! All right, quarter number two, and here we go. Yeah, like you mentioned, you know, really tight ball game right here. And, boy, this is one D.C. would love to have back, you know. It's oh, two yeah. weeks in a row, just a, a great throw. Oh. And, uh, and that would ball. have been targeting right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the next level. You know, at the same time, you just we got to make those plays. And they do a great job right here of getting us off the field. And, boy, Evan Williams with a huge night punting, 240-plus balls in the air. And after, after scooping it up on the snap, short hop. Yep. Exactly right. Uh, Cam Jackson there with an almost pick six. Uh, he, he played pretty well for us, and you know, um, we I thought we played better up front maybe than we have in the past. You know, great break on the ball for Barkley Crawford right there dislodges the ball that would have been a first down. And, you know, gets us the ball back here. And, uh, Jameson with one guy to beat. We got to shake that guy. Uh, we get a. Holding here that uh, was the rule was misapplied, and he comes back to me. I used a timeout to talk about that one, and he comes back later in the game and said I was right. So I thought at least I got my point. So they shouldn't have been able to punish. Should have right? should have penalized we penal penal us from the, right. from the where the catch was made. But it turned out good for y'all in the did. long run. Actually, it did. sure did. Just a great throw here, uh, a long throw on the yeah. out route to the to the field. And, you know, Ethan, great poise right here. You know, Jay's our fourth choice on this particular route. Uh, checks the ball down and then just uh, 
you know, Jay's a guy that we're probably not getting as many touches as we need to, but, you know, um, we're, we're, we're right now offensively we couldn't ask to be much better. We're, uh, there's a lot of guys touching the football mm-hmm. and making plays for us and uh, come right back to Jamarcus on a quick slant to the inside. And, well, what a game he had. Yes. I think you're starting to see, you know, what we think he will be. And, you know, Jay just with another determined run. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I – his he doesn't mind traffic down there close to the goal mind, line, does he? You know, his physicality <laughs> right now is, you know, really encouraging, and I think he's he's living up to be what we thought he could be. And you know, um, you know, as the weather changes and gets a little colder, and it's really, really, really good to have a running back that you know you can lean on and give to. And uh, weather conditions aren't going to uh, deter him, you know. But uh, that's started by those guys up front as well, and. Um, you know, um, I just couldn't. I can't say enough good about them. They're uh, they continue to be our backbone. Mario Fluker with a massive hit right here, and another uh, kickoff hit the turf. Yep, That's amazing. Exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, got it placed in the right spot. And you know, uh, Matthew Cockrell played by far his best game. His energy was unbelievable Friday night. And Matthew's a guy, a guy that. Uh, uh, is a big part of our defense, uh, not a starter, but just as important. Um, and he, well, we couldn't be prouder of his energy. He, he played at a very, very high level Friday, and we need that. Uh, so get the ball back here, and uh, they defend the option game pretty well right here. They do a, a really good job, actually. And like I said, I think you see the strengths of them. I mean, they've got some defensive linemen that can really get after you. And, um, you know, their secondary, as I said a week ago, you know, I think is one of the best. And I think we did a really good job of getting them confused a little bit with some movement and some motions and some shifts. And, you know, when you can get high school kids thinking and, and not reacting, sometimes that's the best recipe for mm-hmm. success, you know. And, um, Jay with another good run. And, you know, they, they stuffed that one pretty good, uh, just on the ISO play. And, you know, uh, a strike here. I was actually the third time we ran the play. It was the same play we opened the game with uh, that we hit Jackson on um, for the first play of the game. It's the exact same play we come back to. Uh, we hit Jay Sean Land on that for the th- uh, third down conversion back in the first quarter. But uh, some really, really good This offense. guy right here was loving the passes to the tight end. He calls for it all the time. <laughs> well, there you go, Brad. Uh, just a you know a really good execution here on the home side. You know they get a personal foul on the touchdown and give us the opportunity to kick off from the 45. So we're going to take that chance every every time we can. Um, another good throw to uh, to Jamarcus and you know again he's just going to continue to get better and better and better. Uh, a little bit late getting this ball out and uh, we didn't we didn't block it probably as well as we should have on the perimeter. Uh, but again, you know. Um, they, they continue to bring pressure and just a huge progression read for Ethan right here. Uh, literally, that's his third choice on that particular play. And, you know, um, we had hit um, Jackson on the crosser. Uh, this is the exact same play we hit Jackson on the crosser on early. Uh, we come back to it. They cover Jackson, uh, but they leave the backside post wide open. And You know, if you watch this team play every week, as you and I both do, it's really obvious and, and a fun thing to watch to see the passing game grow from yes. week to week because it's yep. it's really becoming special and it's really obvious that the communication between the receivers and Ethan has really developed. It has, you know. and I mean, that's just a comfort level. It takes time. and. Sometimes you want things so quickly, and it just it, they've got to play together a little bit, right. you know. But uh, you're exactly right. I mean, it's really grown, and I think we'll only continue to get better. Um, don't defend this very well here. Colin Dunn lets it outside uh, on the defensive right edge, and you know, um, probably wasn't his best game, but heck, he's had some major ones for us. So uh, again, just a great pressure here by Matthew Cockrell and. Our D-line, Jaden Hood, played exceptionally well. Jaden plays well every single week for us, man. Just a, He is a trooper for us. And thought, uh, you know, um, Preston Clendenin played mm-hmm. his, probably his best game on defense. Uh, there he is coming by, up from the secondary, making a huge play. And, you know, uh, gets us to halftime, 35-10. Yeah, pulled away in the second quarter and things looking good and uh, pretty confident heading into the second half. And we'll take a look at the second half, third quarter specifically, right after this.
Patriot Nation, it's definitely worth your while to make the short trip down 69 South to Tammy's Salon. Tammy's is located in Moundville on Highway 69, just down from Family Dollar. They offer men's, women's, and kids' haircuts, color and highlight services, perms, and facial waxing. Friendly customer service and great cuts and color at very affordable prices are what you'll find at Tammy's. Come support the salon in Moundville that supports the Pats. Tammy's Salon. All right, up 35 to 10, heading into the second half. Yep. You know, we talked about it at halftime. You know, we knew we were going to get the ball to start the second half and, you know, uh, needed to continue our success on offense. And really frustrated. First play out of the half, we bust a play. And, you know, Bryson does a really good job of turning something into not much uh, when it was a total bust. But, you know, uh, that's what really that good. athletic ability can yeah. do for you, right? He did a really good job of running the, 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 the system for us in the second half. And D.C. with another good run here and Bryson with a, another big gainer. And, you know, he's a he's a suspicious runner. You know, I mean, he doesn't uh, he's not as big and strong as Ethan. But, you know, when you watch him run, it's just a lot of people have trouble getting him on the ground. And, um, you know, but uh, Jay Johnson into the end zone again for us and thought that was really the dagger that uh, they really let down, really uh, basically quit after that touchdown. Right. You know, and, um, kind of the nail in the coffin there and just a uh, toss to the to the boundary and uh, blocked up pretty well. And you see yep. Jaden Hobson there with a really good block and he'll be missed for sure. But um, you know, that gets us uh, to 42 to 10 early in the third quarter and uh, feeling pretty good. A lot of people are wondering, um, after seeing um, uh, Ethan on the sideline uh, and not in the game in the second half, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, uh, it felt a little bit awkwardly late in the half, and uh, you know, our medical staff just kind of felt like it would be best to, to hold him and certainly think he's perfectly good. Uh, we expect to have him ready to go. And, Great. You know, um, uh, so we, we, we feel good about that. Um, Again, Barkley with a good tackle here, you know, and they, uh, uh, like I said, I think their effort really, really dwindled after we scored the first possession in the second half. But, um, you know, we just got to continue to play, and Barkley with good coverage there. Uh, decent pressure here up the middle, and, you know. Um, they threw at Barkley a lot, and he was ready for it for the most part, wasn't he? He was. He, you know, Barkley does a really good job back there for us. Highly experienced, you know, he's played yep. a lot since his freshman year. Mm -hmm. So um, he's a guy that's pretty well seen it all. And, you know, they get a personal foul here and a uh, big penalty against them. It backs this thing up and a little bit of a late hit there after the play was over. But um, Eric King with good pressure. And like I say, there's Barkley again, you know, uh, Ball seems to be finding him on this particular drive, but another really good job of pressure right up the middle affects the throw, and uh, you know defense uh, does their job and gets us the ball back. And Jamison with a uh, punt return here, thought our punt return unit did a really good job. It's going to continue to grow there. It's an area that we've worked hard on, and, and I think we'll continue to get better. And, um, Shamar Moore with just a little bubble pass right here that gets us five or six, and. You know, uh, Bryson with another big run. Uh, you know, his, uh, his ability level is and, and his leadership is really, really good. I mean, and great game experience in the varsity absolutely game it is, this yeah, past Friday. For sure. You know, uh, Jay Sean Land with just a power run right here. Runs right over the corner, and, um, and I like to see that. Uh, Diddy Petty gets in the game here. He's a guy, again, that we've got high, high hopes for. and. You know, as the season progresses, you like to see kids continue to improve, and uh, Diddy has done that. And, you know, we expect him to be a big part for us down the stretch. I just love the way he hits the hole yes, so sir. aggressively. Yes, He does it. You know, he is a tough, tough kid. And, you know, um, I think as you'll see, you know, this thing unfold, uh, he's a kid that has just kind of been a develop developmental deal for us. But as the season winds down, I think you'll see his role continue to expand. Um, he's a senior that has just been everything we could ask for as far as understanding his development and, and um, you know his role. But they do a really good job on the on the boot keep here off the ISO, and um, you know I thought that was, we had just about a guaranteed uh, touchdown. And to their credit, they do a great job and uh, gets us headed to the fourth quarter at 42 to 10. Yep, 42 to 10, feeling pretty good heading into the fourth quarter, and we'll take a look at that when we come back.
Whatever gets you up in the morning, whatever makes you feel strong, confident, joyful, that's the good that Alabama Credit Union is here to help you do. With us by your side, you're free to focus on your joy, your passion, your strengths, your hidden talents. At Alabama Credit Union, we care for you so you can care for the people you love. And we've got your back so you can get back to feeling good. Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. All right, we start out the fourth quarter threatening again to extend that lead. Yep, that's a catch that Marks just has got to make yeah. right there. A really good throw by Bryce. I kind of feel like nine times out of ten he will. He's going to make that, <laughs> yep. Uh, we get points out of it, which is important. Lyndon does a good job. Of, yeah, and Lyndon gets an opportunity to fit, kick a field goal and yeah. not just an extra point in the exactly. game. So that's pretty valuable, it too. It is. You know, you don't get those opportunities a lot. Uh, this is another ball that we almost come up with, and uh, I thought the kid touched the ball in bounds, and uh, they marked it out of bounds. But, uh, you know, just another big pressure play here under high duress, and the kid gets it out, and uh, Preston Clendenin with another big tackle. And, you know, uh, I just think, you know, you see our physicality wear on people and you get tired of getting hit, you know. And mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, you know, to me, two kids that really stood out for us defensively were Preston Clendenin and Matthew Cockrell. Just can't say enough about, you know, their improvement and, you know, one a starter and one a non-starter and just uh, so many kids with so many different roles for us that play vitally important uh, parts on Friday night. Um, and. You know, we're starting to get some other guys in the game at this point in time and get them some, some varsity reps. And, you know, uh, those are super valuable as Adrian Love's in there and um, Hollingsworth, uh, several of those young guys, Kendall Moorhead's in there uh, doing a really good job. And, uh, you know, I just think the pressure started to wear on their quarterback a little bit, wasn't comfortable. And, uh, but to their credit, get a field goal here and get a few more points on the board at 45-13. Uh, and, you know, um, we, we, you know, I would say got somewhat conservative in the second half, just wanted to get the game over and run the clock and, uh, you know, just really went to the eye formation, tried to get some mm -hmm. first downs. And, and you know, did. Uh, we did. <laughs> yep. Uh, DD right there again with a really good run and a um, ball that's on the ground here shouldn't have been. It's a little bit of a read deal for us, but uh, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball and puts us behind the chains. And, Ananias is in there now, and several different linemen. Anton Brannion is uh, doing a good job, Brooks to nail. Um, and now, like I say, Evan Williams just with some big, big, big mm -hmm. booming punts. You know, two 40 plus yarders in high school in the air, fair catches. You don't see that very often. And, you know, just uh, defensive coaches weren't happy about this one. You know, feel like they did a great job all night long. And, you know, uh, a lot of backups in the game. and. You know, we, we just hate to see that happen when we put our second unit in there. We, we expect them to, to hold the, the, the gate for us, and we just didn't get it done right there. So uh, discouraging from that point, but uh, you hope some of our kids will grow from that. And, you know, um, those opportunities don't come along very often, but hopefully they'll get better from being out there and under the lights on Friday night. Um, but that gets it to 45-19, and, you know, um, just really, really proud of this football team and, you know, where we were. Just a little hidden gem, you know, we blocked that extra point, you know, and that's the uh, kids continuing Been to Been doing that a lot this year. That's we, about we the block fourth or fifth block this year, we isn't do. it? Take a lot of pride in it, and Clendenin was the one that blocked that. So uh, just part of the little hidden hidden parts of the game sometimes that make right. big, big, big factors. Right, 45-19 against a, a, a big school that just moved down from 7A and yep. – a uh, two-hour road trip, you know, kind of changing your schedule. Overall, just a great experience for your team. Really was, you know. Thought we handled the, the uh, logistics uh, part of that very well, and no hiccups. And like, just as you mentioned, well, that should pay off for us down the road. Mm -hmm. We hope, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, just an overall great win for us and playing very, very well. All right, and homecoming this week. Yeah. We'll talk about that at length, of course, but. Got Central coming up. Tell us a little bit about them before we go. Well, they they struggled a little bit early on, but I mean they've got some good pieces. Their quarterback's an elusive player, uh, got a good arm, and you know uh, they're trying to figure their way out, trying to find their 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 rhythm and what they want to be on both sides of the ball. But uh, homecoming's always a nightmare for the head coach. <laughs> but you know it's a week we got to get through, and um, at the end of the day, the ball game's the most important part for right. us. And we got to have a football team ready to play. Right. All right. Thanks for joining us.